Houston, the chassis as a project to help drive a renaissance in Africa. So I became a parent and I started to worry more about the world we would leave for our children and their children. And uh, I decided that education was a way to help achieve that. I went to Haas looking for an education that would teach me about how organizations function and that I would use that knowledge to found and run a, a university in Ghana. HSE is a different type of school, apart from like all schools in Ghana. The number in class, very little. You actually have a personal relationship with your lecturers. The facilities over here are amazing. You get to know all your classmates on a personal level. Most students, when they enter Chassis, they're coming from a system that relies very heavily on learning by rote. And they enter a college that is more about critical thinking and problem solving and values. This school is not just about a place where you go and get, get a good job, but it is a lot about the mission of building ethical leaders in Africa. Continuing students have an obligation to offer community service. So I think in the coming years, if our population increases, what's going to happen is that we're going to affect a lot more rural areas in Ghana. My first experience with IBD was getting a chassis started. We want to develop an institution that deepened and expanded its impact by really addressing other very high impact fields like engineering, economics, law and society. We especially love the chance to meet students and alums and hear about the impact that a chassis has made on their lives. I was consistently impressed by what people outside of the chassis community thought of and perceived of what a chassis was trying to do. Just getting to learn more about a chassis and just how truly amazing an organization this is, um, it's just been a complete honor to work with you. It's a very inspiring place and um, really appreciate letting us have the opportunity to work with you. You change a continent by changing the people in it and the leaders in it. This next century has to be the African century. Thank you.